Hi, I think this time we're going to try to do a, a an easy haul costume. A little animated figure we can put on the shoulder. This time we're going to do a uh, cartoon character from the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle show. Uh, Krang, a little blobby guy that uh, from the Dimension X. And do up this sketch here. This is basically what I want to make is uh, a little traveling companion to perch on your shoulder and give you bad advice. I think this will be big enough to be our crane here. We're going to take a small section of it. You don't want anything too much larger than that sitting on your shoulder anyway, and it's going to be like this guy here. So have the head high, and we'll do the tentacles and add them on. bottom here so we got the whole thing out. If you want to add more depth to it we'll do a little more on the front or back. I think this might be enough. Okay now we got some artwork here. Trading cards with pictures of Krang on them. Mostly his forehead here it looks like. Use you for a model here guy. She's right up here with the mouth. Time for some carving. Now I'm gonna have to go back from the the nose here. I don't think you want the eyes level with the upper and lower lip and everything. Right, let's be sure about this. We got a map here we can go by and add some more artwork. I'm just doing the basic uh, sculpture with this, okay? Now, the scissors are where your major artistic control come in. You put your wrinkles and curves and things like that in with the scissors. And just cut and pull away. There we go. He's looking more and more like him now. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to have sunken eyes in here. I want to have uh, eyes that I can uh, adjust. So I'm going to use styrofoam balls. And the way I do that is I actually give this guy an eye socket in which I place these eyeballs. First I'll give myself a, a level work surface there to work with on the eyes. Then I want to draw some eye socket outlines. Uh, Give him some eyelids like that. Approximately the same size and about the right place. Now, <coughs> hollow it out by using an X-Acto knife. enough you start ripping out the plug. You start pulling it and cutting away at the base of it. That's the, basically the way you make yourself an eye socket. And you're able to take a styrofoam ball, well, not very good on this side but this side looks fine, 
and then you can force it right on in there and then seat the sides of it on there and you have got working eye sockets. Of course we'll do this one too. And of course you can always point the eyes. Like I said these are adjustable. When you have the pupils in there you can have them looking in different directions. Pose him. You know if you want them walking around looking up or down or cross-eyed or whatever then you can adjust those eyes. You get a uh, kind of a spinal effect across the front here. lumps up here. Give this guy his lumps. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to cut for a little depth across the front here like this. And we're making these lumpy things like you can see on Crane here. We're going to give him kind of a spinal column sort of lump. see where the lumps are taking shape. Crank's head wasn't deep enough, kind of like half a head there, so what I did is I cut out another piece of foam to go on the back of it that I can carve onto. Okay, now I can uh, plan the rest of his head, now that I got that on there. It rounds off like a potato. Now I just round them all off with the scissors here. Okay, I've got it pretty much carved out now with the detail everything. I gave him a mouth. He's got brainy type lines carved around his head and everything. He doesn't have any tentacles though. Now the mouth is going to work. Why are you so ugly? At me! I don't know! Now i got to uh, put tentacles on it and paint it. Well, as you can see, you don't look too bad for a creature from another dimension. What do you mean, creature? You're the monster on here! And he's already got an attitude, too. <laughs>